I'm Jake Higgins with the Sports Geek, and this is the Sports Betting Glossary. This video breaks down the strategy of contrarian betting. Before I jump into it though, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more sports betting content like this. Contrarian betting is when someone is betting on the opposite side of the general public. This is because average bettors tend to use gut instinct and follow the money, so there can often be value on the other side. There are many places online that share breakdowns of where the public money is on certain betting lines. Contrarian betting is all about finding value, so it takes a certain amount of the public to be on a certain side. There will always be an edge of more money on a certain side of a betting line. So when do contrarians choose to pull the trigger and bet on the opposite side of the public? Well, typically, if there is a line that has 75% of people on one side or more, then that side is typically overvalued. Contrarian betting can be especially useful for big games that see lots of action. These big games have a lot of noise around them, a lot of media talk. So the public tends to bet with their gut more in this situation. That's because there is so much media coverage that people tend to think that they've done their own research by listening to other people talk about the upcoming game. Contrarian betting has been proven to be a profitable strategy when betting on sports in the United States, and that is because of the value. Finding better value on the odds means that a contrarian better doesn't need to win as frequently to be profitable. And that is good too, because there are many short-term cases that the public will win, but there is plenty of more money to win on the other side of the long term. For more sports betting content like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And if you contrarian bet, then let me know in the comments one of your biggest wins. For the Sports Geek, I'm Jake Higgins. I'll see you next time.